Pepe, um, we're standing right in front of a line of police officers. Uh, you're an LGBT activist here in Honduras. Most of the equipment that the police are wearing is manufactured in the United States. How do you feel about that as an LGBT person here in Honduras? And what would be your message to LGBTs in the United States about the fact that all this hardware that the police are wearing. I think it's, I think if the LGBT organization wants to help us, please ask the uh, Obama's administration to stop the hypocrisy because he is saying always that he's supporting the LGBTs but also is promoting the militarization of, of, of the society in Latin America. You know, one of the most vulnerable uh, groups uh, in here in Honduras and even in Latin America are the LGBTs community because these guys has the, the license to kill and with weapons provided by the by the US government using the excuse that they will give us security. So what kind of safety we will have with people with guns? So these are machine guns, big machine guns saying that they, they are here to uh, to assure safety to, to, to the society. That's a, that's a lie. So you don't need weapons for that, and uh, and I think it's it's uh, it's like a double morality, and we we don't accept that. Okay. We just had the national elections yesterday yeah. in Honduras, and many people here are saying there's fraud. Yeah. What do you think that President Obama should be saying about those elections, and what do you think he should be saying publicly? To you know, about the it. U.S. government, the, what I think the first, the, the U.S. Uh, ambassador, uh, the ambassador Kubiski, what one of the first to say that there was a calm and transparent process, so they already accept the results. So I don't know if, uh, if there are some things to be done. But the thing is, even the OAS and the, the U.S. government was the first in saying that well, this is a, it was a transparent and a really calm, a peaceful process. So but there were that, two people killed yesterday, right? Yeah. 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 Not two. There were t three people killed yesterday, and uh, how many? All, how many candidates were killed in the run-up to yesterday's elections? Candidates. Oh, before. Yes, before, in the months before. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't have the exact figure, but I think it's more than 15, and all of them were part of the Libre Party, and uh, you know, with total impunity. So the the excuse here is drug drill, a problem with drug dealing or uh, uh, organized crime or the common crime, but uh, we haven't uh, any. For this government, we don't have a, any recognition of political crime. None of them. We, we as uh, you know, even in, uh, in the LGBT community, we have two political crimes, and uh, the investigation is a uh, piece of shit. Whatever it is, and uh, and no, you know, we're we're here, hopeless. Yeah. And um, now. You're a member of Libre, and it seems that most LGBTs who are politically active are members of Libre. Why is that? Well, it's, I think it's because uh, Libre is the first party that gives us some kind of hope. And, uh, you know, we uh, here, Honduras is a very conservative country. So when you have a new party, uh, the logic said that you need voters, so you want voters. But Libre took a political risk that 
no other party has ever taken. And they uh, What have, was that risk? Well, we ha the Libre has two uh, free candidates for the Congress. The openly LGBT person running for the Congress, and we knew we know that that was a political risk, and they took that political risk in order to have a representation for all the groups uh, in the Congress. And what has the ruling party said about LGBTs? Well, <laughs> and it, you know, they try to link. The, the National Party tried to link, tried to uh, link Libre with uh, uh, equal marriage. So they move all the uh, the religious leaders and they attack Libre because they said that if Libre uh, win the elections, they will approve the equal marriage, and it is, it's even part of our agenda right now. As LGBT, as part of the LGBT community, it's not part of our agenda, but, uh, you know, the first interviews they made to the... Uh, there was this uh, newspaper, and it's part of the, the National Party, it's El Heraldo, and uh, they asked the candidates and they make just three questions. The first one is, do you, do you support the equal marriage? And the second uh, question was, do you support abortion? Because they they knew they know that the LGBT community was part of Libre, and even the, some of the most prominent feminists were part of Libre. So even a uh, day before the elections, uh, last Saturday, they uh, there was a, uh, they wrote something in the Heraldo, and, uh, and uh, it was about uh, uh, an interview they they uh, they made months ago to a LGBT leader, and they said Xiomara, if Xiomara, I, I don't remember the the, the, uh, the head of the of the article, but it said Xiomara, if Xiomara wins, uh, she will approve the equal marriage because they know that we are a really uh, very conservative uh, country and we knew, we know that uh, almost 83 percent of the population is against the lgbt community but you but you support full equal rights for yeah. lgbts yeah but that's it's just that equal marriage is not the top of your agenda no not what what is the top of your agenda well first i think uh we need to uh, stop militarization. Uh, I think we also need uh, to have uh, uh, date, uh, to have the concepts of the hate crimes as part of our of our law because there's there's nothing at all about the, the hate crimes. Uh, we are asking for equal marriage. We are. Uh, asking that this country, according to the Constitution, is a secular state. But the influence of the uh, Catholic and the Evangelical Church within the, the, the decision making of the, of the state is really hard. So we, we are uh, asking and demanding that uh, they respect the, the secular state. We are also asking for sexual education. We don't have sexual education at all. He, uh, neither in a public or private school. So all the children have nothing of information about sexual education. Okay. Is there anything you'd like to add, Pepe? Well, was, you know, uh, I'm, I'm really disappointed right now. I'm kind of sad, yeah. but well, we resist uh, for a year, so we can resist another four years. Yeah. Well, with any luck, it won't be another four years. Uh, I don't know. Now I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. Well, thank you very much, Pepe. It's an honor being with you here in Tegucigalpa. And uh, let's hope that uh, we uh, reverse what the TSE is doing right now and, and justice is done. Uh, I will add something else. Yes, and, uh, I think it's... I have to... Uh, thank you too, because uh, you know you're you're here with the LGBT delegation, and uh, and there's a lot of support for us because it's the only we 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 we, we ask, you know the the support the uh, international advocacy that they uh, show the reality 
here not only for the LGBT community but the, but the entire country and uh, and you know we I only have to say thank you well my pleasure Pepe it's a real honor being being here with you thank you thank you and and good luck to you and all your your friends thank you thank you see you in the streets <laughs> Thank you.